Welcome to Event Radio, covering local drag racing, stock car racing, motorcycles, go-karts. If it's got wheels and you can race it, you'll hear about it here. Event Radio is Motorsports Radio on steroids. Now, let's join your hosts, Spivy Williams and Terrible Tea Guy. Well, guys, it's early morning, and uh, we're at probably one of the wildest events. Welcome to Event Radio, by the way, but we're at one of the wildest events, T-Bone, I think we will probably cover in a while. This is Hot Rod Drag Week. You know, They say the early bird gets a worm. We're going to get the fattest worm out there. Well, I'm telling you what, this is, we don't normally get up this early, but uh, this, from what I, I'm looking at now, it was probably going to be worth missing that two or three hours of sleep. Because there are some shown up cool cars here, we've got to we've got to find one of these guys. It's it's actually a Hot Rod Magazine sponsored deal uh, that uh, I, I believe the way it works is that they race different tracks. The cars they've got is they got cars as quick as in the eights here in a quarter of a mile, and they have to drive those bad boys all the way from this venue to the next venue to the next venue, and they spend a, a solid week doing that. And then they come back here on Friday. We're at Beach Bend, by the way. And they come back here on Friday morning and uh, run the finals. And this is just, this is awesome. I mean, this is this is a wild, wild deal. You know, when you go uh, down the interstate, you see a lot of race cars on trailers or in enclosed trailers. Here, you see the race cars pulling the trailers. Yeah, yeah. They're all pulling the little trailer. And uh, they're, matter Spare of fact, parts. yeah. There's one right over here that we might ought to just sneak up on if we can and talk to this guy because he just opened his trailer. He's got a custom-built trailer with the uh, the car out here. It's a Camaro, and I don't know. We, we'll find somebody to talk to us, T-Bone. What do you, what do you think? We uh, we probably need to start this off with, with getting us a little education or a little better education of what we have, and then we'll... We have got a bunch of folks that we can talk to. Well, this fellow sure looks like he knows what he's got going. All right. Well, give us just a second, guys, and we'll be right back with uh, our first victim of the day. Victim of the day. Victim of the day. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we we have captured our first victim here. (laughs) Uh, We pulled up next to the Camaro we were talking about. Who we got, bud? Oh, my name's Eric Yost. Eric, where are you from, man? Uh, Mooresville, North Carolina. Boy, you're down in rat NASCAR country, That's aren't it. you? <laughs> yeah, cool deal. Trailer with everything, including a drum of VT, VP fuel. That's right. Everything. Tell us a little bit about how Drag Week works. I mean, how, you know, you're into this deal full time. So. Oh, yeah. This is our uh, sixth year doing it. Uh, we usually take the, uh, the the dirty bird, the fire bird. This you got fans here, by the way, of taking <laughs> oh, pictures. Oh, yeah. and stuff. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I interrupted you. So this is the first year with uh, with this Camaro. So we uh, it's it's all new combination. I hope uh, we get it ironed out. So um, it will be an interesting week for sure. Now now explain to me. I know you guys. These are sure enough hot rods. I mean these things are really quick cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, how quick does a Camaro run? Um, I don't know yet, but it should. It's capable of uh, mid to high sevens. <laughs> That's flying, my friend. That's <laughs> flying. Uh, for for those of you who don't know how fast a mid to high seven is, it's about 175 mile an hour somewhere in there, and and that'll get you a ticket anywhere in oh, this yes. state in a hurry. Oh, yeah. But but you guys have to literally drive these from event to event, and they they have, so they have to be 100 percent street legal, right? Oh, absolutely. What and then the trailer? You're towing a trailer. You know, you look like the Griswold <laughs> wagon going to Wally World here. But but you're towing a trailer, which in your case is a custom built deal that has everything in it that you need to make the repairs. Is that right? We hope. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? I used to I used to sell a guy some stuff, and, he, and the name of his company was Precision Guesswork. You know, <laughs> and I thought, well, boy, that's about as cool as it gets. Yeah. So so tell me a little more. Today, for example, you guys will, will actually race today and then go to somewhere else. Though. Yep, we'll uh, we'll race today up till uh, probably two o'clock, and then we have to turn in uh, some sort of time slip, uh, whether it be uh, just taking the light in twenty second pass or the best time slip you can put in. 
then they give you directions to the next track. So. Okay, and and roughly how far are the tracks apart from each other? It could be from 200 to 450 miles apart. No kidding. Yep. So you got to be ready to, to go wherever. I mean, oh, yes. I mean, you could be in Valdosta, Georgia <laughs> yes. tomorrow, you know, or, or wherever, or, or Indianapolis Raceway Park, or, or any place that, or, or as far as that goes, Chicago, anywhere. I th- our longest leg last year was from uh, t- uh, Memphis, Tennessee to Tulsa, Oklahoma, 430 miles. That'll work. Yeah, I've been that one. I know that <laughs> yes. one. Boy, that's a long, lonesome drive. Yes. Y- you, so the, the car has to be. Boy, I, that's got to be hard to do now. It is. On it, that's that's got to be a lot harder than your average everyday drag race car to bring in here in a uh, Prevost motorhome with a stacker trailer and, oh, yes. and all that. What got you into doing this, man? Uh, our first year was 06, and uh, we, we brought the Firebird that year, and we've done it not every year since then, but five times since then. We've won our class twice in uh, 2010, 2012, and... We were the third fastest last year, so we want to get to our last year with the Firebird. So it was, it's just addictive. I mean, yeah, I would say we know how to pick the winners. <laughs> it's easy. We've been doing this a long time. We know who to come talk to. You know, it, it's, it's, I find it amazing. I mean, this car's got beadlock wheels on it. You've got everything. You've actually got more than most NHRA pro stock cars have. Right. And you're driving that thing down the boulevard, right. you know. I mean, uh, uh, I, I don't know if, if that is to be complimented or you're a mad scientist. Right. I don't know which one to, <laughs> to, to do. Uh, and then you go for how many days to do this? Five days. So uh, Monday we're here at Bowling Green, and then Friday we'll be back here. So the first and last day is the same track. All right. Now, do they, do they take the finish from each day to determine the winners, or how does that work? Best average of five days. So you, you put in five time slips, and that's your average. And that's your average, yep. and then the, the quick guy wins, right? That's it. Is that it? <laughs> Man, is that cool or what? Do you have sponsors that, that do this? Or? I've had a little help this year. This first year. Uh, well, we need to get you some. Oh, yes. <laughs> because, guys, this, uh, you know, this proves not only that these guys need to, they know how to make them go fast, but they're ace technicians to keep them going fast, you know, and, and make them reliable enough. When, when you build this car, you build – uh, you got to build it different than a regular drag race oh, car. Oh yes, for sure, for sure. I mean, Clue me in there a little bit. You got to think about cooling for one, the main thing, and uh, training temps. Uh, you know, rear end. You know, for your seals not leaking, brakes. You know, you pulling a trailer. I'm pulling probably another 1,200 pounds worth of equipment. So you got to think. You got to have enough brakes for your car and the trailer now. And you know, fuel pump. You got to have something to to last eight hours at a time. You know, endurance wise, bow spring. Olin. I mean, we, we broke everything from valve springs to lifters to converters to trannies to rear ends. I mean, you name it, we've probably broke it. <laughs> and, and, and the trailer, I can see a transmission in the trailer. I can see all kinds of stuff. Just I'm not quite up to it, but, man, there's a little bit of everything. And it's just so neat because it, it opens on both sides like a concession trailer. And whatever you need, toolboxes, everything is, is in there. And you just sort of get it out and go to work. Huh? you got your own rolling shop with you. We hope. <laughs> you're, you're, all all new all new meeting to a shade tree mechanic, That's right? It. Is that what it is? The tailgate folds down and actually pins halfway up as a workbench in the back. Man, did you build the trailer yep, too? Sure you built the trailer. What do you do, man, for, uh, for a living? My my business is uh, customs by Biggin. Um, so we do uh, custom fabrication work, uh, turbo kits, roll cage. Well, guys, there is no guy out there that. For my money, from what I've seen out here, that knows any more about what he's doing, uh, we we search it out pretty good to try to bring you what we feel is the the slickest and neatest and best stuff out there. And and what's really cool, the Camaro actually looks like a rat rod, if you will. Uh, which is that a wrap? I'm sure it is. You it know, is. I mean, yeah, it's too slick a car for it to. The rust is not really there, right. but <laughs> but it's a wrap that looks like uh, uh, a rat rod and. Boy, looks like a rat rod, sounds like a top fuel car. <laughs> you know, pretty neat deal. Well, buddy, I tell you what, we, we appreciate you being on Event Radio and getting us started out here. We're going to be here for uh, quite a while to, to talk to a bunch of the guys and stuff, and, and you sort of cluing these old guys in. I, uh, we're, we're really not radio people. I'm an old funny car guy, and Terry's a pro speedway motorcycle racer. And this, okay. <laughs> this little radio show goes worldwide, so we'll we'll try to expose you to a lot of folks. and. And guys, if you if if you're out there and you're wanting to hook up with a young man that uh, uh, can use your product to the fullest extent, 
you might ought to look this guy up because he knows. Uh, it's very evident he knows what he's doing. Thank you, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you so much for being on Event Radio and getting T and I started. And uh, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun today. We probably won't do a bit better than we just did. But we're going to have a bunch of fun, and we're going to try to open the eyes to Drag Week Wow! I will, I will give a shout-out to my sponsors that did help me out. Good, uh, do Please JRI, do. JRI Shocks helped me. Uh, wonderful. Best shock out there. And Pro Torque, uh, torque converters. Okay. Uh, excellent. The best thing I've had in so far. And uh, work turbochargers. There you go, guys. And send him some more of it. <laughs> you know, because, because he's doing you good. He's doing you justice. And uh, he just got your name in front of a whole bunch of folks. Buddy, thank you so much. Thank we you. wish you the best of luck. And and depending on our schedule, we may see you on Friday when you come okay. back, you know, and, and get the week report. Right. And, and you'll either be grinning or growling, one of the two. We don't know which. Guys, we'll be right back on Event Radio. We're going to go look a little more and see what we can come up with. All right, T-Bone, we, you know, that what a nice young man. Wasn't he, wasn't he nice? I tell you what, he had the hot setup on the car and the trailer, the whole deal. And we're wrapped. It looked like rust. Yeah, was, was that cool or what? Yeah. We're we're going down the staging lanes, guys, and and there are you know this looks like a cross between a killer car cruise in and and an NHRA national event. There is every kind of car. There's a Henry Shea. There's a thirty uh, Ford Coupe. There's uh, uh, an old Falcon. There's fifty six Chevy with a blown Hemi in it. A forty you know, Ford Coupe. A forty Ford Coupe. A, 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 a new Corvette. I mean. Everything you can imagine these guys have put together to run the the Hot Rod Drag Week. Can you deal. imagine the looks they get going down the interstate? Oh, man. Can you? Yeah, yeah, people hanging out the side of the car to take pictures and, and all that stuff. It, it, it's uh, This is quite a deal. This this is a neat thing. It's, it's boy, it's it's something to see. It's something to, uh, to, to look at. And, and man, I, I tell you what, I'm excited. I think this is great. We gotta we gotta find a couple more guys and then and talk to them. There's there's so much to choose from. We're like kids in a candy store, you know. There there's uh, you want chocolate, liquid, peppermint. <laughs> yeah, I mean whatever. whatever whatever you want. We're gonna sneak over here. We're gonna try to talk to the fella that uh, this is a 32 Ford Coupe. If we get to him before he gets in his car, and we heard this thing coming in yesterday. Pulling and a U-Haul trailer. Pulling a U-Haul trailer. And this thing sounds like a top fuel dragster. I mean, it is absolutely awesome. And, and we're going to see if we can snare him and, and get a few words with him. And we'll be right there in just a few minutes, guys. Guys, we, we're coming down through. And, and, of course, we always search out the unusual and the coolest stuff here. And and if you've ever heard the old uh, the old rock song, Hot Rod Lincoln, that we have found the evidently what that song was written about. Who, who we got joining us here? What's your name, sir? Name is Clint Warpla. Ken, Clint? Clint. Like yeah. Clint Eastwood. That's right. Clint Eastwood in the Hot Rod Lincoln. <laughs> Boy, you can't beat that. Where Where are you from, Clint? Hibbing, Minnesota, about 100 miles from Canada. Boy, I tell you what, you're up there where it gets cold, right? Yeah. Not used to this. We're Boy, sweating. But, but what's so cool is you guys drive these cars everywhere. We drove it from... Uh, Roper from home. We didn't trailer here. Yeah, and, and you and you got the time slip here. Uh, <laughs> this is wild. This is unbelievable, guys. Uh, the quarter mile time ten thirty at one hundred. Oh, ours no. is a twelve. Oh, yours is a twelve eighty four. Well, that's still good enough. Twelve eighty four to one hundred and five mile an hour. And and what year Lincoln is this, man? It's a fifty three. A nineteen fifty three Lincoln, and you know they're raising the hood on it. It's got everything. Uh, how cool is that? How, what kind of my, gas mileage? Done? Uh, we actually averaged 13 on the way here. You're kidding. Nope. My Suburban doesn't get that good. <laughs> and it won't, it won't run over anywhere near that fast, you no. know. But but you guys you guys make the whole deal, the full five-day deal, right? Yes. Is this your first time or second time or third time? or? This is our third time. We took the Lincoln in uh, 2011. And the motor had sat for 10 years, and we actually lost the lobe on the camshaft. And we we decided to call her quits and go home, but it got us home. Boy, you can't. This is cool. This is, you know, when, when they were telling us about this event, we Terry and I got all excited about coming out here because we do, we, we cover a lot of events, everything from Hot Rod Reunion, 
all the way down, you know. And and this is probably one of the neatest events we've been to. I mean, everybody's so cool and friendly and having fun, and and uh, you guys walk the walk. I mean, you you do it now. Yeah, it was. Uh, we tried to do a. This is our year, once a year vacation. Me and my dad go together. Right. So. Right. And is and, and is this your dad's car? Or? Yes. Yep. One Ooh. year we take his. One year we take one of mine. <laughs> you can't beat that, man. That, I, well, I tell you what, guys. The family stuff. Race racers are family people. They have always been, and and this just proves it right here that Clint and his dad are have got the hot rod Lincoln out and 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 having a big time and having fun. And and where do you go from here? Do you know yet? Or from here we go to Indiana. I'm not sure exactly on the city, but um, somewhere in Indiana. Well, if I know the, we get the instructions when I turn in my slip. Oh, I see. So now, if you if you turn your slip in and you're happy with this one, and you get your instructions, can you leave right then or or? Yes. Yep, we like to get going in case we have any problems on the road. It's daylight. you got plenty of time to fix it. You know, we don't. hopefully we don't have any problems. Well, yeah, right, right. Well, this is this is so cool. We, thank you for joining us on Event Radio. We'll give you a card where you can hear yourself all the way up there close to Canada when it's snowing. Cool. You know, <laughs> we won't be there, buddy, even though you <laughs> might invite us for dinner. We won't be there So because we, we're sort of fair weather, guys. We like sure. this. We like this sunshine. But uh, we appreciate you coming and being on Event Radio. It, it, this is fun to us, and it's fun to you, we know. And, and we wish you all the luck in the world. Hope you guys have a very safe five days and uh, Excellent. Thanks get, for to having see, me. get to see all the fun stuff of this part of the country. We, we'll try to show you a little southern hospitality. There you go. Excellent. All uh, right. Nine, nice people. Well, really so nice far, you, you've run into pretty decent ones. So we're okay. <laughs> That's right. All right, man. Thank you so much, T. Uh, what do you What do you think about the hot rod Lincoln? Hey, I just went over and looked at that. That is so awesome. Uh, what you get me? He took the fender skirts off to change the rear tire. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? And how often <laughs> you see that on a race car? You don't see that very often, you know. Like a four twenty eight Cobra jet in it. <laughs> four twenty eight Cobra jet. Yep. Well, man, we we appreciate it. We're gonna we're gonna ride on and and uh, I don't know. Can you remember the words that hot rod Lincoln song or? That, 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 I don't remember them exactly, but we'll it'll come to me. It'll yeah, yeah, we probably me. got it. We probably got it on a CD in a, in a suburban. We may don't play be it. drinking in a hot rod Lincoln. Yeah, or, or uh, <coughs> no, drive you to drink it in a hot rod Lincoln. Yeah, drive you, yeah, to, drink drive you to drink it in a hot rod Lincoln. Well, anyway, guys, we appreciate it. Thank you all so much for joining us on Event Radio, and we're gonna keep on stabbing and steering and finding some more nice folks. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we we go to a lot of events, and you go to. You see everything from drifting to autocross to, uh, of course, drag racing is, is one of our favorites. And we run upon a gentleman that's got tires under this car uh, wider than the Mississippi River about. Uh, and, and it's a Triumph, a TR7 Triumph. Is that right? It's a TR6. TR, well, I got it close to one number, right, didn't I? You certainly who, who am I talking to? Hi, my name's Ed Olson. Ed. All right. Where are you from, Ed? Uh, Twin Cities in uh, Minnesota. Boy, you're way up there. You're way up there. Oh, yeah. It's pounds. cold up there. Oh, I wish it was cold here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, the way you guys do this, and you travel from track to track uh, doing your deal and running, uh, man, there's no telling. The, you got to be a pretty slick mechanic because, you know, most of your tuners are, are worried about a couple of hundred feet in elevation. You guys can change a thousand foot, you know, I guess. Cause they, how much distance is there between, between tracks that you go to? On this deal i don't know it's all in the upper you know the midwest and uh well down here in, in kentucky so i i'm not sure it's probably 500 feet or something i don't know well as far as elevation yeah right. i know what that is but i mean as far as distance from day to day oh yeah we're gonna cover i don't know 12 1400 miles in uh 14 days with a with an eight second car so so guys that means if, if you've got a 1400 mile radius and, and you use that from here. You could actually be at sea level in Daytona, or you could be on top of the mountain in Denver. You know, either way. So you got to be ready for all that stuff, right? Right. Yeah. And you carry it all in the trailer, and you drive the car. Certainly try to. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, is that cool? Now, tell me, there's got to be a top that goes on it. We got a little bikini top. No windows anymore because the bar, the doors are full of bars. <laughs> I'd be full of bars if I tried to drive that. No, I'm just kidding. How quick does the car run? It's gone as quick as an 874 at 155. God, that is. What kind of what kind of power plants in that thing? It's got a 
1970 vintage 400 Pontiac block with a stroker crank. It's a 488. 488. And, and it weighs zero. Actually, it's, I, I built it in my two-car garage, and looking at a bracket, you never know how thick it should be. Maybe there are a couple thicker ones in there. It's uh, 3,050, I bet, with me in it right now. But turbo intercoolers it all adds up big heavy duty nine inch ford oh yeah yeah you got to have the you got to have the bulletproof stuff especially if it was just a race car you'd have the bulletproof stuff but you got a double dip because you're you're fighting the street elements to go along with it you know and 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 i can only imagine i mean i've had some fairly fast race cars myself but but to run a, a car that runs that quick and drive it up and down the road that just blows my mind i, I can't i'm having trouble getting wrapped around this i guess you'd say other than cooking me and my poor victim of a passenger that's riding with, uh, the car drives down the road good. I got, I just got done. I pulled a 250 rear end out because I was running a Turbo 400, and I switched over to a 4L ADE now. So I got a 300 gear and an overdrive. I'll be going two grand down the highway at 70 miles an hour. And getting mileage, too, probably. I, the last time I checked it with the blow-through carburetor, I got over 16 miles to the gallon with it. <laughs> you guys are phenomenal. You're unbelievable. It, it, it's does he ever, does he ever in the middle of the night look turn to and say, "How'd you get me into this?" Is that this is only the first day. So oh, yeah. okay, all right. I, I took my poor wife with me last year. Oh, and she's still with you, huh? Well, yeah, she's still my wife. She didn't run <laughs> off. It, I, I guess she thinks well, you you hit your head on a roll bar a couple of times <laughs> or something. But I tell you what, we really appreciate you joining us on Event Radio and and. Uh, uh, the beauty part about this little thing, when this airs, which will be a couple of weeks from now, it goes 24-7, so okay. you can listen to it anytime you want. <laughs> and if it, later on you get a sponsor that you want them to hear you, you we have an archive page that all you got to do is click on it, and you can play the show a year from now if you want Sweet. to. You can play it to anybody you want to. And, and you can prove to your wife you were actually at the racetrack, <laughs> you see, which I doubt. That. She uh, probably has no doubt of that anyway. She knows I'm foolish enough to try this again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> My friend, thank you for joining us on Event Radio. This is so cool. And and here we got a, a looker that's a hot rod that runs 170 mile an hour and a quarter of a mile. Gee, give me a break. Hey, this is great. We'll try for 160. Well, okay, excuse me. A 10 whole mile an hour mistake. Hey, that'd be huge if I could get that out of this. Yeah, way. I understand. But, but you're doing good enough. You know, you're doing good enough. Thank you for joining us on Event Radio. T-Bone, what do you think about the Triumph? Thank now, you for I, having me. Oh, we appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much a motorcycle guy, and I hear of a Triumph TR6. I'm thinking of two wheels. But this this is the most neatest-looking car I've seen out here today. Yeah, I, I think it's just cool as it can be. And I, I get a whole lot of looks going down the road. Certainly do. It's a, it, It's really been a pleasure to have this car. I built it in my garage, and I like the fact that people appreciate it. It's, it's super do you pass them or they pass you? I usually let them pass me. I stay out of trouble. There you go. Hey, he, he the bad part about it, he don't have to prove nothing because he can. No, they quick. look at that until that booger's passed. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going we're gonna to ride a little farther and see what else we can come up with. we got a lot to look at, but we really appreciate you joining Good us luck on Event today. Radio. And, and have a great day and mainly have a safe trip. And, and we may get to see you back here on Friday. I'm not sure we get that our schedule will let us come back, but uh, I would sure like to because it, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you, T? I would is, too. I really would. This is so cool. We enjoy it. Guys, we're going to stab and steer for a couple of more minutes, and we'll be right back on Event Radio for Thank you. Thank you again. All right, guys, we're coming down through here, and, and we got to sing the song. What is it? Pet Boys sell everything, everything for less. less. Yeah, there you go. We wind up to the Pet, Bo- Pet Boys Speed Shop trailer, and, and the gentleman here, what's your name again, sir? Uh, Dave Dissinger. Dave, you were so nice to come over and say hi to us. We said, buddy, you want to join us on this? And he said, well, sure, why not? You guys uh, are one of the major manufacturers that come to these things. We're amazed. We're, we're, we're old race guys, and, and we go to events everywhere, and this is just so cool. I mean, you, this event probably, uh, I don't know how Pep Boys could find an event that would, that would go any more, uh, hand in hand. yeah, hand any in more hand in hand yeah. with, with what you guys do, because you guys sell the pieces for the guys that, that bust their knuckles to fix these cars. They're not the, like one guy said, not the, not the guy that leases his Mercedes and turns it in every two years. Right. You're, you're the guys that actually keep these things running. Sure. And these boys, they got to be ace mechanics along with racers, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah definitely. And, you know, it's, it's, we're really excited to be part of the, you know, the Drag Week event. And it does, it really ties hand in hand with what we're all about, especially since our introduction to the speed shop. Um, you know, within it's we're 100 strong now. We have 100 speed shops nationwide. Cool. Yeah, seven, 700 stores, but 100 speed shops. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool. It's really neat to be a part of it. We got our ace crew out here. We got our one of our top speed shop managers along with us that's just uh, full of uh, total knowledge and speed and performance. His name's Jeremy out of uh, Glen Burnie, Maryland. Cool. And, yeah. And where are you from? I'm, fr- I'm from uh, Pennsylvania, just okay. outside of Philadelphia. All right. And, you know, I'm the director of speed shop operations, so I oversee all the speed shops across the country. Actually, you're the now, grand poopa. Well, it? you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's exciting. You know, it's it, you know, speed and performance is part of my lifestyle, and uh, when I had the opportunity to uh, to join up with the speed shop team within Pep Boys, it's, uh, you know, I couldn't be more honored. Yeah, well, I tell you what, guys, you guys run a good ship. There's no doubt about it. Tell me. The three guys. Now, are they the? Are, is there anything to that, or is that just a, a just a logo? No, no. Manny, Mo, and Jack were the were the uh, founders. They were, uh, you know, two which are, you know, brothers, and uh, they were all relatives. So, okay. You know, all right. Of course, all past now, but uh, you know, we we incepted in 1921. That's when we started. So we've been uh, strong for you know well over 90 years, and um, you know we're really uh, really excited to you know to just continue on with uh, you know kind of the legacy of. Manny, Mo, and Jack, and and to branch out something new like Speed Shop is, uh, you know, it's it's great that we're continuing to. Grow. Well, I, well, I had to ask that question. See, I'm an old guy, you know, and 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 I remember back when I was a kid, the very first chrome set of chrome wheels I ever bought was from Honest Charlie Speed Shop uh-huh. in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Right. And and it works a little bit like this radio station. Uh, back then, he advertised on WLS out of Chicago because that was the only uh, clear channel radio station. Sure. Now, you're not old enough to understand all this, but that's okay. But he would do all the crazy stuff, logos and stuff, with maybe a moon disc on his head for uh-huh. a hat and all right. that stuff. And and he got to be really cool. And I, I think Pep Boys does a little bit of that using the three characters in your TV ads and, and the things that, that the public sees. They may not understand it all, right. but they like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and well, it's they, our grassroots, you know, yeah, and that's what yeah. we try to stay true to that in our in our brand and, uh, you know, what we're all about and how we, uh, how we were founded. Yeah, and, and you guys handle all just about of the top brands. Uh, uh, looking at, at your your line list here, that uh, you know the Mister Gasket, the Autometer, the the Hooker stuff, everything that Holly sells for sure, yeah. and they're our buddies because they're they're from right here, you know. Yeah, sure. And uh, uh, you you've got all the really pro form and all the cool stuff, Magnaflow exhaust. Can, yeah. we, can we get that on this electric golf cart? You think we? Can get yeah, that on we could we could probably hook you up with <laughs> you some we, uh, with some ba- with some decals or yeah, that, or we could string you a speed shop. Uh, yeah, well, across the top. well, we had the head guys on yesterday from Optima Battery, and I know yeah. you got them here, we so did. so they can buy those Optima batteries from you. They were sort of stumbling around as to well you could get them here get them here get them here and they said you could mention to you that you guys could so uh yeah. guys you can come out here and talk to the guys that really know about the optimus stuff you right know? right uh yeah. you having fun so far we, this? we are we're having a blast and it, it was kind of cool I, I i had an opportunity to bring my one of my cars you know i have several cars and i had an opportunity to bring my street car and come out and, and actually join the crowd and race a little bit and have some fun there plus you know just us being involved in the event and supporting the racers and that's what that's the cool thing. I mean, we we had the opportunity not only to be a sponsor, but to be a support, you know, vehicle basically for the racers. And we're going to be traveling from track to track all week. And you know, somebody gets into trouble, they need a part. Even on the road, we're going to run the same route there as the go. racers do. So if they get go. in trouble, they can call us. We might have the part on board that they could buy. And uh, you know, so we're we're really really excited, and hopefully the racers are excited for us to be here and to, to support the. Uh, and and the you guys know enough about the parts business and the shipping business. You could actually have one dropped a couple of stops ahead for them, and and they could still pick it up. Well, if you, you look know. to your left, you'll see a list. We already have a list started of uh, of of one things to do there. Huh? There and, uh, you go. We're there working. You go. We're working ahead of the curve, and uh, we got speed shop managers. You know, kind of. Uh, a state or two away working on sourcing parts and trying to have them for the next event. Hey, buddy, that's slick. And, and, and that's, you know, guys, that makes you glad as to where you spend your money. When you got guys that support what you're doing and, and they believe as strong as what you're doing. And and in your case, take part in it. I mean, you're you're one of the, the participants, you know. So yeah, it's keeping me busy. There you go. <laughs> buddy, thank you so much yeah. on, for joining us on Absolutely. Event Radio. Well, certainly. Thank and, you for stopping by. And uh, Pep Boys is a wonderful group of guys and, and a wonderful group of stores, guys. If, if For anything you need for your hot rod or the uh, the Griswold wagon That's or, right. anything or you drive. whatever you drive out yeah. there, these guys can keep it running for you. Great. And uh, – T Bone, what do you you know? What what do you think? What do you think about the the, the involvement here of the Pep Boys? Well, I like to say manage Mo and Jack. I mean, you know, <laughs> and you know, back when we was kids, if you drove a station wagon, that wasn't cool. But man, yeah, boy, isn't that cool? 
we we're having such a great time guys we uh we're gonna stab and steer and we're gonna run on down the road there's a bunch of new stuff getting in they come and go with this deal they don't just necessarily all get here at one time and and after they make their run and they're happy with it then they're hooking up and heading to the next deal you know so we, we're, we're getting new cars all the time and and we're gonna keep riding and looking and uh see what we can come up with thank you so much for the pet boys speed shop good guys. luck yeah, Thank great you. luck, and we appreciate you joining us on Event Radio, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we uh, we found a friend that uh, uh, I've been chasing since Saturday to get to talk to, and, and a guy that's been so busy, unbelievable. I don't know how many hats you wear, my friend. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Bill a closet full of them. Yeah, well, you've used them all this weekend. My, my good friend, Mr. Bill Titchener from Holly, uh, you created a monster with the LS Fest. Man, it blew up this year for sure. I wasn't expecting that and had a few issues. Had so many people had issues getting them in the door, which is a good problem to have. Well, yeah, but, you know, we, we came and we've come to several. And, and the, we, we talked on, on the show that uh, uh, the first one lasted about a half a day. And this one is, is comparable to any national event you go to anywhere in the country. I mean, and a heck of a show. Yeah, that's what I felt like, too. I was like, well, we've got a monster on our hands now. So you slept good last night, I, I did. I did. I, well, I planned on just sleeping until I woke up and just going to work, but my mind was still going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up on LS Fest time at 5 o'clock. There you go. <laughs> how about the how about the hot rod deal, hot rod drags? Is, is this Man, cool or what? Man, it's the coolest thing ever. I just got out of the pits because our Holly EFI just powered the fastest, quickest drag week pass ever at a 672. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, 200 and <laughs> what? 14. 214. So, and they drive that thing oh, on yeah. the street. On the street to the next track. Isn't that so cool? Yep. You know, normally a car that, that runs in the sixes, that runs 200, has got a, a, a stacker trailer and a, and a Prevost bus pulling it. And, yeah. And, a, and these guys, they got to be. They're going to pull the trailer to the next stop. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to so, drive it and pull a trailer. Tom Bailey was his name, and so they're digging on our Holly EFI. And he uh, he come back and popped open the laptop, checking it out, and there was the. There it was. It made me feel good. So he well, made me put a decal on the back wing so I could get some publicity <laughs> out of it. Well, I tell you what, that that says a lot for what you guys build. And, and being old home guys, that's that's a cool deal. When you when you build that quality of piece. Yeah. You wouldn't think a bunch of Kentucky guys could do that, would Well, you? yeah, you would. Oh, really. Okay. You know, I mean, that was a blind hog finds an acre and every once in a while. Is that <laughs> it? But, but, no, that just shows the, the caliber of the stuff that you guys do put together. And, and these guys – probably are, are an excellent test bed for you along with the ls guys i mean here you had them drifting with your stuff you had them uh, uh autocrossing with your stuff you had yep. them drag racing with yep. your stuff the uh, winner of ls fest had our holly efi on it our hooker headers on it tons of our parts and yeah yeah and <laughs> so and, this and these boys what what's cool and 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 what i found cool about the ls fest as well as this event these guys are the ones that spin the wrenches bust their knuckles and and do that other than the paid 14 person crew that, right. oh, that these works are the guys stuff. in the trenches you know but these are the guy that the guys that we call them key influencers that go back into their neighborhood and 100 other guys ask them what the, what parts they use yeah so they can put them on their car you that's know? better than any ad you put oh, out isn't yeah, it oh yeah 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 cuz i mean they you know when when you got guys that walk the walk with what you've right. got and don't just talk about right. it right we can say our stuff's good all day long but you know <laughs> the guy, guy with 214 <laughs> just proved it right yeah right, right. <laughs> he just opened up the world and said hey boys watch this you know <laughs> <laughs> he's in, he's in the country town like and said hey y'all watch this watch right this. i tell you you uh, uh did you ever think the LS Fest would grow as fast and as big as it was when you started not really i mean it was really just a um uh, uh marketing deal we put together to let the world know let the ls guys know that we're serious about their marketplace otherwise we'd have been a carburetor company saying hey look at our ls parts you know yeah yeah so until you get in there with them and show them you're serious and do something for them you know then you're not going to be taken seriously and you know well the the neat thing about you guys over so many is you've got so many brands that you can interact with each other and you can make one complement the other that uh, they can come out with a total package of you, of, of, of everything they need from you guys. And it all, you know, it, it's sort of like a fuel guy letting the, letting the parts get to know each other, you know. And your stuff knows each other right out of the manufacturing facility. So when the guy here in, in Bumbity Bum gets it in by this UPS truck, he puts it on there and it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah. You know, that's cool. Well, that's the plan. That's kind of where we're heading with it. We started out with parts and pieces and 
Now we've got like more. We just built a chart for LS Fest this year that shows how to put everything into, say, for example, a second gen Camaro. So headers, exhaust, all the way back, and all the numbers drives. they need of the stuff yep, to all, do that. A whole yeah. line of part numbers, oil pan, whatever you need to put in your put it in your car. And I was just walking the drag week pits two minutes ago and found a guy that had all of our stuff. Had our hooker exhaust cast iron manifold turned around backwards for his turbo. Had our high <laughs> ram e- intake and our EFI running the whole thing. Well, now, Bill, let me tell you something, buddy. You've got an 18-wheeler sitting here with a real pretty red golf cart, and you're the wheel. You don't need to be walking through the pits. You could actually ride, you know. I like to walk. That's there how you I go. keep my girls. Is that how you keep? Yeah, you keep your schoolboy figure, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. Boy, I tell you what, it gets deep here. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad we're friends. I think he was cussing me. Yeah, we. Uh, uh, it's a lot of fun to come to these things, and 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 you guys do so much to to help bring so many of these here the uh the holly hot rod reunion and the ls yeah. fest let me tell you what i did saturday speedy all right because we've never had this many uh, spectators at ls fest i went drove the parking lot it wasn't kentucky people oh it was everywhere it was everybody but kentucky it was hey, about 10 percent kentucky and the rest was the rest was from elsewhere in the country we we interviewed a bunch of people at at your event uh during that and it'll be on the ls show that's prior to this when you hope you've already listened to it but uh uh they came from all over the country too to attend that's what i found yeah, was so was cool the spectators yeah the, i'm talking about yeah well, well of and, course and, the participants were from but when ter- spectators have always been a problem lately with with any kind of of drag race event because uh they don't understand some of the the bracket stuff and stuff like that. Not that they don't like it; they just don't understand it. I mean, they're old like me, you right. know, and they don't know. But when T and I came in, pulling the the little through our Griswold wagon, pulling the golf cart, there are two separate entrances, guys, and we were in a line of traffic. Uh, we got in, which Dallas does an excellent job getting people in and out of this place. But uh, we were in a line of traffic, probably about a mile and a half away, and it took us about eight minutes or so to get in, which is no big deal. But we're the only one that comes to the participant interest. The whole line of cars is going in the spectator yeah. side. And and that was just freaking me out. You know, I said, whoa, well, are we going the wrong way? I mean, we come here all the time. Are we doing something wrong? Yeah, right, you know? right. And, and then we get in here to talk to the racers. And, man, those guys are from everywhere. You everywhere. Know, everywhere. All yeah, over the I country. saw um, Ontario, Canada. Yeah. New yeah. York and Florida and Texas all out in the parking lot. Of course, the participants, too. And and it can't do anything. It, when they get here, you, you guys have convinced them to come see it. But anybody that made this event, and guys, t- please trust me, go to every form of media you can find that covered that event and check it out because that will make you want to come here next time for yeah, the next there's one. There's definitely everywhere you turn, you're, look, you're watching something. Hey, there's I'm the, telling you, it's just it, it's a thrill a minute on every direction. It's it's uh, it's like going to the three ring circus, you know, and you're really what it was, yeah, it? and you're hot because you can't see all three at the same time. You that know, was the goal because we you know we go to events all year long and we're sort of tired of car shows where a guy sits by his car and yeah. says, "Yeah, boy, isn't yeah. that pretty? Let's yeah, rub right, this right. little Let's piece of dirt off." Them, you know, yeah. Let's get out and well, you know, and and that was another thing that we talked to uh, uh, one of the guys here that. We pulled in, and they had about eight Corvettes, Bill, sit there. And we're used to going to the Corvette events where, just, just like you there. say, that they sit there and they're they're comparing the numbers of the gas tank to the right rear wheel weight. And, you know, I mean, that's about as much fun as watching paint dry to me. And these boys, I mean, these things are full-blown race cars, buddy. They're out there. They got one guy. High RPM. Yeah, man, you. they're running in the eights at 160 or 70. That. And I said, buddy, I said, I, I talked to a young man from Little Rock, Arkansas, that was the tuner for yeah. about six of these cars. And I said, you know, I, I want to compliment you. And he said, why? And I said, you guys are doing what I, in my mind, think a Corvette was built to do. Yeah. You know, right, it was right. built to be a hot rod. Right. And and you, that's what you're doing with it. You're not you're not riding around and cruising around saying, "Well, let's rub a little wax on it here. I look pretty," you know. You're making it walk to walk, and 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 uh, using your stuff to add to their stuff. Yep, man, I'm telling you what, it's it's a heck of a ride. Hey, Bowling Green, the hot rod capital of Kentucky, is what I say. It is, and it's it's the when we started this little show thing, we were Terry and I were sweating on having the resources to travel to all it, it wasn't expensive to do the shows but it was right. ex, it's expensive travel wise anywhere yeah, any, anyway but anywhere, thanks nowadays. thanks to thanks to our good buddies and old home folks holly that bring so many of these cool events to town 
you, you make our job real easy, buddy, and we We're and good. and fun. Where else can you oh, come we on? Back to town with people, and they ate all of the food and stayed in all the hotels. And they did Bowling Green the, Prosper. They did, and 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 you know, the thing about it, the they're realizing now just how important that is. It. Uh, I, I talked about Vicky at the the tourist commission to a guy, and I said, you know, she and the Chamber of Commerce need to swap buildings. Because the car events that both you guys at Holly and, and that the Tourist Commission works on, they're instant results as far as money. We we were fortunate that uh, the economy, when it was really bad, we didn't hurt as bad as a lot of people. Yeah. And it was due to the you guys busting your butt and bringing in all the events and all the people to town, which kept a little bit of the money flow trickling in, you sure. know. And and so many of the other things, when they bring an industry in, they got to give away the farm to get them here. Right. And, you guys are just showing them a heck of a good time, and, man, they're dropping a lot of cash here. Yeah, people love Bowling Green when they come here, too. You know? Well, you know, there, there's a lot of Rick Ball that owns RC Components. Mm-hmm. He moved his business here from California because he drag raced at this drag strip on a, on his drag bike. Yeah, and liked Bowling Green. And he loved Bowling Green. Now, he is the largest motorcycle wheel manufacturer in the world, you know. And, and that's how you bring industry, is showing them a good time, showing them a good community. And you boys are, are the killer ambassador or one of them that does that. And well, thank you. you expose it to so many cool folks, you know. And, and uh, I, for one, appreciate all of being here. I mean, it's it's you've been here forever. You've been one of the major uh, employers and resources of this community for as long as I can remember. And, and uh, you know, I, I appreciate it. And I, and I appreciate you bringing the events in because not only – getting to do the radio stuff but hell we just like yeah, no, we too. have fun yeah, i was doing this before i got to holly so i call it work but it's pretty fun <laughs> yeah it's a lot of fun <laughs> they, buddy uh, you know it, events are everything to our industry you know you if you think about it and uh, if a guy doesn't have anywhere to go with his car why does he want the why does he want to do it yeah you know I mean? he's already chased the prettiest girl in town and got her yeah, you know right, and right. all the, that was driving. the first reason he had the hot rod that's right that's right <laughs> you know, so she'd have something to look at other than his right. ugly butt yeah, you know right, in a few years yeah but uh uh you know, yeah, to have it to have a place to use, use stuff. the parts, you know. And then yeah, when they you, use the parts, they break parts and they buy more parts and we keep people employed in Bowling Green. Yeah, but but <laughs> you guys are slick enough to be at the events and learn from what they're doing. And that's how you know, it beats your R and D department having to spend Oh yeah, doing research forever. All you gotta do is go out and be a part of it. Yeah, you got guys out here doing it for you right. or, or helping you with it. Right. And and just like I said here. Uh, and, and i got to give a Uncle Robin a plug here, even though he's over engrossed okay. into doing whatever he's doing. He's uh, asleep. He got a phone call. One of the guys out here that's from wherever he's from, he had a little problem with one of your car, one of your pieces that he couldn't figure out. And he gets on the phone. He calls the, the, the store, Holly, to one of your engineers and says, hey, this guy's got a problem. Just sort of lay down what you're doing and come out here. Well, now – how many major companies would you call one of the engineers to help a guy that bought your stuff to come out and fix his problem? And he's got access to to your R and D guys, yeah. you know, with with Robin making a phone call. And and to start with, how many executives would have done that for a customer? Not many. Well, that's the Not way it many. should work. Well, that's the way you guys work. So. And and uh, uh, our that's CEO a is a car guy. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Got a huge collection of stuff, and I'm not talking about just. High dollar cars. I'm talking about stuff <laughs> like you and me would own. You know, well, and 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 Trevor, Trevor, your your sales guy's a racer. Yep. You know, I mean, he's a big time racer. He's raced forever, and I think his Robin kid is the whole sales force. Yeah, course yeah. I mean, you guys do guy. the deal. Uh, Trevor's kid races quarter midgets, doesn't he, or something yep, like that? Seven, seven years old. <laughs> How about your bunch, buddy? My what? boys are well. They're fourteen and twelve, and they were putting bearings in their go kart spin wheels last night. <laughs> he uh, they texted me from LS Fest. When are you getting home? When are you getting home? You I got a bearing hung up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you get to go home and work I, tomorrow, I right? And put pressed in a bearing. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's all right. It, uh, Actually, we didn't press it in. We just took a socket and beat it in. No, that's all right. You know, <laughs> what, high-tech engineering, right? Yeah, yeah. And when the socket didn't fit, we cut a piece of wood that was the right size and <laughs> banged in the end. Did you learn that at Holly R&D Department? No, I learned that from being a poor kid from Kentucky. <laughs> there, well, hey, it works, doesn't <laughs> it? Just get it done. There you go. Bill, my friend, it's been worth the wait to uh, 
uh, we we started out on Saturday trying to slow you down and and talk to you on a video. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I, oh no, I had, no. We and, were burning t- Dallas's tower down with a jet car at one point, so I'm I'm always fighting fires liter- literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we interviewed them and they came up with some kind of fruit and gave us called huckama or something. And and, and don't and, ask me. No, I. It, it, <laughs> Tony, the 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 uh, Tony, what was his last name? You I can't pronounce it. I, I can't either. But but he was with the <laughs> Lucas Oil Jet Car, and he comes out with this plate of fruit called Huckama or something. And he said, "Oh, this is Southern California fruit." You, went, I tasted it. To me, it was an apple with an attitude. You know, I don't know. Okay, but, but it, I never it got worked. To try it. You never I'm glad those guys came out. So yeah, had they, a ton of good sponsors that want to be part of LS Fest, and Lucas Oil was one of them. They yeah, you had the you had the head again. marketing guy from Lucas Oil yep. here, and and. Uh, so I mean, I mean, he drove one of the jet cars. Yeah, yeah, nice fellow. We we talked to him. So but they're the same way. They're we, all doing. The, they're just part of it, you know. Are it are in everybody really though, Bill? Yeah. That there, there's a lot. There's a lot of companies out there that all of their wheels and stuff are pencil pushers behind the desk, and and you boys don't do that. You boys are, are man. You're out here, and if you want to be successful. You you got to be part of it, you know, or you just don't get it. That's right. You, you just, know, you, you just think don't about what all this industry's made up of. And you've got, okay, so you've got cars and you've got trucks. Well, take trucks, for instance. You don't just have trucks. You've got off-road trucks. Yeah. You've got slam trucks. You've got off-road trucks that don't really go off-road. They're just a show, tr- show truck that drives on the street, but it's right. lifted. Right, And we might, you know, you've got different parts for each each little tiny subsection of this market. And unless you're part of it, you don't really know how to, you know, what parts you they would need. You don't know they exist, yeah. really, right, I right. guess. Yeah. yeah. So we were down at a... a uh, off-road event that we put on put on down in tennessee last month and it's rock crawling I yeah i know what that is it, yeah i know what that the is coolest yeah. thing and so yeah. now they're rock racing up they they rock crawl but they race to the top of the hill as fast as they can and they're flipping, flipping sounds like over, a plan to be on fire and they've got ls engines too it well is, they had a couple of those out here fun. we looked at a couple of those yep. there was a couple of those at your event and and uh uh, sand rail. Cool. Did you see the sand rail that was running around at LS? No, I, I missed that one. Yeah, I don't even know where he came from. But hey, we saw so much stuff that that uh, we needed an extra day to. We yeah. needed an extra day and a whole lot more recording time than we had <laughs> to to be able to talk to him. But everybody Did you get any was so interesting nice. people on the on on your interviews. Yeah, I want you to listen to the show. You'll I like do. it. You'll I'm like gonna it. go listen to it. Yeah, you'll That'll like be it. my lunchtime listen. There you go. Oh, you All right, yeah. my desk and listen to Spivy. Yeah, yeah. To make you throw up. No, I'm just kidding, I to, buddy. I have to listen, listen before I eat. Yeah, there you go, man. Listen, I I appreciate you finally getting to All slow right, There's you one down. of our engineers pulling up right now. Yeah, I know. So Doug's heading out on heading on, out to on, go on again. Drag week. So yeah, yeah. He'll and, be racing his own car and tuning everybody else's. <laughs> well, that's okay. There's and nothing Rick wrong too. with that. Yeah, his little Mustang. You These four lug uh, hubcaps. Oh, no. He's got the Mustang looking like it's a little old four-lug sleeper. Yeah, and it, how quick does it run, Bill? Oh, I don't know, but it's a 1,000-horsepower car. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> you all are nuts. There's no doubt about it, boys. Well, we, you know, we're we're here. Come over here, man. We, 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 we'll get Brother Bill to ask you some questions. Yeah, I know you. I know you, don't I? I've been in your show, sir. Yeah, well, you're in it again. Guess what? Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Tell us... Tell us real quick about what you are up to here. Uh, I'm here. My name's Doug Flynn. I work for Holly. I'm on Drag Week 2013 with my Nova. I'm running the street race small block power rider class this year. Just made one pass. How fast to go, Doug? Went a 967 at 141 and a half. With his little trailer that he's going to be pulling behind him all the, all around this part of the country from track to track. I'm here with and my compadre. Rick Anderson's here. What what Rick run? Rick went a 957 off the gas. That's a fast street car. <laughs> you guys are insane. Doug, you know <laughs> Tom Bailey just made the quickest pass ever with your product, right? Well, that's what I heard. That's I thought true. he went a 750, and then someone said he went a 670-something. 672. That's good news. It's, yeah, so we've Sad already got it on Facebook. And, <laughs> compared to that, <laughs> your car is fast compared to the rest <laughs> of the world. If you tell me it's got air and AM, FM stereo, I'm loading the golf cart now. You know. The Mustang. That ugly one, and I can call it ugly because that's what the license plate says. It has air and a radio. Oh, Lord. You guys are amazing. And a 1,000 horse. Yeah. A 1,000 horsepower, air and a radio, and <laughs> the boys at Holly have are, are too much. Now, that's all there is to it. You guys are just too much. We're having fun. I did this last year, and I got my car done the day before, and I was a nervous wreck. 
haven't changed it, and I'm and looking when did forward you, to having So fun. probably by the end of it, you said, I'm not doing that again. I'm still burned out from last year, but they'll, so this <laughs> year I'm having a good time. <laughs> Buddy, I tell you what, this is this is a completely different deal than when you were on here last time. You know, we I, I don't remember what we were talking about, but it was not this. You know, but we should have. been. He's still going to be this. working though, because I guess, oh he, yeah, the, the, Tom Bailey. I was over there talking to him, congratulating him. He's like, yeah, awesome. Where's Doug? He owes me some parts. <laughs> I said, oh, he's going the whole way, so he's got your back. All right, now we're we're going to put the two racers together here on this radio, and and are you guys going to race to the next Waffle House or what's the deal? <laughs> I don't That's think good so. idea. Doug would beat me for that. You know I mean he tells me you got to air in a radio? Yes, gotta have. It's a street car. A street car that what did you just run before you hooked the trailer up? It went nine fifty six. At what kind of mile an hour? One hundred twenty one. I'd say that ought to cover you on any were state trooper spin, were you ticket. Spinning out here. a little bit, Rick? No, not at all. Got it all hooked yeah. up. Nope, hooked up good. Just let off. Yep, let off. So there's more mile power. We're, we're, there. we're trying to save something. Okay, okay. Gotta all right, ease up now, 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 one thing that you guys know now that we know, uh, you know where the next one is. We have not been able to find that out. Where is where is the next? Where are you heading to from here? We're heading to a huge rocking chair. Huh? Rocking chair is, is in Cracker Barrel. No, I don't mean that. The next track. There's oh, some Indianapolis is the next track. Oh, okay. So Raceway Park is where you're going to. Sh- oh, okay. All right. All right. But first, we have to stop at two stops. One's got some girl on the hood of her car with a huge rocking chair behind her. We got to take a picture of our car there. Now, where is that? Now, I don't, we don't know. Really? Up in Louisville somewhere. What is that? You got to clue me in on this. Yeah, I don't know what this is either. With the rocking, you mean the rocking chair? What? We, they always have to make you find these certain things and take a picture of it, so they know you went the routes. That's how they double check and make sure. Then you have to turn them in the next day. Oh, that we didn't know that. So you're we, so we're sitting here dumbfounded, and we did not know that there were also little conditions, little oh, yeah. perks that you that you had to do. And and tell us what that is again. Well, we they you don't get them. You don't know where you're going until you turn your race ticket in that day. When you turn that in, they give you a ticket, instructions, and you have to stop at two different places and have your car taking a picture in front of that, whatever it is they have. I, think you think yeah. I have to it's show you the picture to prove. See that giant, giant rocking chair? Giant rock and a good-looking girl. Yeah. How do you find her? We don't know that part yet. That's what I was trying to figure out, I too. I can tell you who that is, but I don't want to ruin yeah. it. That's the old promo man here. He knows He knows all of the tells nothing, right? Is that it? A huge rocking chair, boy. That's amazing. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be that'll have me half the fun. But, but they give you. Well, how do you know? Uh, There's directions on there. Yeah, yeah so but somewhere but, along that route, they're going to find that. Somewhere along that route, they're going to find it. Boy, is this cool? Huh. Maybe T and I ought to drive the whole route to so make sure they pictures. find it. Yeah, there's there's other pictures over here. This is the Pepper Tackle Live Bait Shop, and it's got a 47 foot long fish on top of it. <laughs> So you're going to find a killer rocking chair and a fish. <laughs> yes, we are. And you boys are ultra-quick drag racers that have evidently hit your head on a roll bar one too many times. Uh, <laughs> yes, we have. I would agree with that. But it's a lot of fun. Guys, listen, we we appreciate you taking time from the route to to be on event radio. I, I know our customers, I mean our customers, our, our listeners are going to get a kick out of this because we are. You know, we're having a big time. Well, they but, can follow our Facebook, too. So Doug and Rick and Blaine and me will be giving updates on how they're doing and how other people are doing with our and, parts. And how do they find that, Bill? Just go to Facebook and search for Holly Performance. And you're going to have updates on this, so you're going to tell us where the rocking chair is? I don't know, Doug. Are you going to do that? <laughs> have we made you an admin to the Facebook yet? Oh, yeah, nice. okay. He just, well, he just got, nice. hey, I'll tell right, you what you do. Either way, you got to wait me pictures. You wait till about 2 this morning and you call Bill Collect at home. And to tell him where the rocking chair is. Send me updates and pictures and we'll, we'll put them up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want fun. those pictures. <laughs> Guys, uh, this has probably gone about as far as we need to it's go on bad. radio. You know, we're, we, we, we probably covered about all we need to. Uh, Guys, we want to wish you the best of luck and and uh, come back and, and make the old home folks proud. Okay, since and since you're from here, be careful on the road. Uh, we're envious. We would love to be going with you, even if you do find the rocking chair. You can pull uh, Spivy in that 
Trailer yeah, well, our trailer is like Yeah, you sure, bud. And I, strap, you got an extra ratchet strap? Yeah, we had one of those just tied to us. Baby, right know. on top. Yeah, yeah. Just it, it would need a wide load. Pretty side. big one. You need a wide load. Side. Big strap. Yeah, okay, big strap. All right. <laughs> <laughs> guys, the guys from Holly, never-ending entertainment, <laughs> always. Uh, we appreciate them being on event radio, and I I don't know that we will ever do any better than this. But we've had a lot of fun, and. Uh, we're going to stab and steer and, and either go beat our head against the wall to try to get over this, or, or we might find somebody to compete with you. I, don't, I doubt it we will. I doubt we will. Go look. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us on Event Radio. We and appreciate it. it. And, and, guys, as you can hear, it was well worth the wait to get our buddy Bill on here and, and chased him for three days. to I'm get just him. tired. You're tired? I go sleep now. Sleep. You can go sleep now. I sleep in the back. You sleep car. in the back. Yeah, right. we'll get, we'll get you some some hot toddy or something and put you back there. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. All right, guys, we'll be right back on Event Radio. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're we're about to wind it down, but we could not leave without stopping and seeing this gentleman's car. We were going to stop earlier, and he was busy, and and of course we catch him, and he's still busy. But uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Bob Larson. Bob, where are you from? Rossville, Kansas. Boy, that's a long it's, way, huh? Yeah, long ways away. Just it's just outside of Topeka, Kansas. You tell us what kind of car this is, please. Well, um, it's registered as a thirty-eight Dodge uh, coupe, but it's put together of about more than thirty different years and uh, makes of car parts. It uh, it is just so cool. It's it's it it. It has the the a little bit of a look of a thirty two Ford maybe. It, it it's it's got thirty eight special on the doors. Well, the, that, that's why we we started with a thirty eight Dodge Coupe roof, but we just went with a thirty eight special, meaning it's special because it's like out of so much other stuff. Um, the, we left tried to lay the the rusty parts where they were rusty and painted what we needed to paint to cover up the bodywork and leave it looking like it was an old car and 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 old guys you know old guys most of these guys are pulling u-hauls and stuff but you got a class act in a trailer too you yeah, know we, we made this trailer out of a 50 dodge four-door car <laughs> uh, all the metal and it, everything came out of that car but we used the the rear the two rear fenders the hood the trunk lid uh, metal off the roof and doors to fill in the rest to make kind of a teardrop kind of t- trailer man it this is cool i you know this is hot rod personified you know? well that's I mean, what that's what we call those hot rod but a lot of stuff these days people people say rat rod uh just because it's not painted shiny but um it's a we, hot we rod. just think it's an old hot rod yeah, it's a old, hot rod it yeah. like. having fun so far this is the first day i realize that that's the first day but um yeah we're we're still still alive and not broke and uh from doing this years past, it's, it's a lot more fun to, to go the whole route than it is to break and go home. So you've done this in the past, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, we completed it two years ago with no issues, and then uh, first run broken axle last year, so we were out early, and uh, we made one pass here. But um, I think I think I know what we need to fix. But uh, we're now. <laughs> We're going to try to keep going. This car has heat on it. It has... Uh, <laughs> Everything has heat on it today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand, you know. But but drag race-wise, how quick did it run? Uh, it didn't run very good today. It ran like 15 and a quarter. Uh, we've run 12.7 at 105 miles an hour before. Uh, it, it should run under that with what we've done to it, but it's... If it ain't tuned right or something's just a little off, you're not going to run your best. Well, I, yeah, and, and and everything changes because of the tracks you go to change so radically. You know, I mean, you're leaving here going to Indianapolis. That's yeah, the next. Yeah. That's the next stop. Yep. And then you have to find these things on the road and have pictures taken next to them. Yep. Yep. You got to find the the landmarks that they want you to pull over, and and you have to go the designated route, which isn't always the smoothest, nicest road. <laughs> yeah. But right. And you got to get a picture of your car in front of the. You know, whatever landmark. Now, did did Hot Rod Magazine dream this up, or who dreamed up doing this? Well, I'm not really sure. I think it was probably, uh, you know, Friar Burger's brainchild or something. I mean, they, I think they figured it out. I don't know who who came up with trying it. I'm sure the guys at Hot Rod did. So. Yeah. Well, it it's 
you guys are having just too much fun. Now that's all there is to it. You're having too much fun. You know, and 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 you've got uh, what what is this now? I'm, I'm well the the tent there pulls out of the bottom of the trailer. There's a bed frame pulls out. And, so that's uh, a camper too. And then yeah, so then you, <laughs> I sewed up that tent to to go over it, and it's got windows and all that on it. Man, so we just slept out here last night, Mister Innovator. You know, this is a pretty nice racetrack. How, how many have you been to that had air conditioned bathrooms? <laughs> I don't remember the other ones, but I did remember going into that one last night. Yeah, time. boy, I'm telling you that this is a nice place. Dallas Jones does a great job with this facility. Well, you're going to get to go out and ride and have fun for the next few days, and then you're going to be back here on Friday. Is that right? Yep, we come back here for Friday night. And then is and it going back to Kansas after that? or? Yeah, the you know, 600 and whatever miles it was to get back home after that. Guys, this is this is cool. We, we appreciate you joining us on Event Radio, and, and uh, uh, we're going to try. We don't know where exactly our schedule, whether we're going to get to come back Friday or not. But we want to. We'd like to come back and, and talk to everybody again and see how the week went. I, I think that would be fun. Oh, that's where all the stories, yeah, there's so much happens along the way. Do the lies start then? Is that it? Or No, just <laughs> you, you find out who, who made it and who went on. You got how fast other, you know, they, I think they already set a record today. So Yeah, well, one, of the, one of the cars ran 214 today. And, <laughs> and he's going to drive that thing. Uh, from here to Indianapolis, I mean that's I know that just blows us away. I mean that 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 can be done and successfully done, yep. and uh, but but my friend, thank you so much. We won't we won't waste your time because you were packing up and getting ready to to hit the boulevard. And uh, yep. one more thing, the the cars that are really truly a race car, the track's usually not what hurts them. It's trying to drive hundreds yeah. of miles on the road, and and then the cars that are more suited for just driving the road than the tracks usually what so you gotta you gotta win out overall is what it is you gotta yeah. you persevere i guess what the war <laughs> well, right. listen my friend thank you for joining us on event radio we really love your outfit it is just too cool well and, appreciate it thanks and uh, uh we wish we were tv so everybody could see it it's People, got to be the coolest car here did you mention the the trailer he's got made out of yeah the- yeah we went and that's a camper that comes out yeah, of the trailer yeah, yeah. and that that's where they the, their mobile mansion yeah. for while they're gone we've and, been and, to a lot of rat rod events and hot rod events and that's the neatest thing we've seen. I think you, you did. done I, well. You did well, sir. And it takes a guy from Kansas to figure all that out, right? Yeah, yeah you. there you go. T Bone, I think we've had about uh, all the fun we can have at this thing. And then, well, I and believe it's going to be hard top this right here, Spiv. Yeah, I think so. It. Uh, uh, everybody now is is sort of putting their their toys away and getting ready to to head on to the next venue, and. You know, I don't. I don't know. We we may have to try to buzz back out. We've got a pretty pressing schedule on Event Radio, but maybe we can uh, pull a rabbit out of our hat or do whatever we we'll need. We'll find to out do. who made it back anyway. Yeah, yeah. We we might be able to at least do that. It. This has been a fun event. We've. Had I a tell good you time. what, baby. I didn't know what to expect when we got out of here. I didn't either. Very impressed. Very yeah, impressed. Yeah. Uh, I guess we got to thank Albert for that. Yeah, we got to thank our old buddy Albert because he said, "Hey guys, you got to go to Drag Week." And we didn't even know what Drag Week was, and and now we do, and we've had fun, and and we hope you have enjoyed it. All of the the interviews we've tried to do a bunch of them, and and uh, man, these guys, these guys are cool. Now that's all you can say. They're like I cool. Said, these guys don't pull them in on trailers; they pull trailers. That's right. That's right. T, I think we need to load up and head to the house, huh? What do you think? Sounds pretty good. All right, guys, we appreciate you joining us again on a on event radio as we always do and we're going to continue to search out the coolest thing out there and bring it to you as much as as radio can be done uh to where you sort of kick yourself in the rear for not being here you know but uh we appreciate you joining us we're going to load up and we're going to head on down the boulevard and when you see a car go by you at 200 mile an hour on i-65 <laughs> you know they where they just from. left here yeah they have just left here Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll be back. We'll see you. Say bye. Bye Bye-bye. You've been listening to Event Radio, covering local drag racing, stock car racing, motorcycles, go-karts. If it's got wheels and you can race it, you heard about it here. Event Radio is Motorsports Radio on steroids. 
Join us next time with your hosts, Spivy Williams and Terrible Tea Guy.